you were a witness to the kitchen debate. Please tell us what you remember of the kitchen debate and why were you there in Moscow? It was my kitchen, in a sense. I was the press agent. Uh, I was working for Tex McCrary Incorporated, a uh, PR firm in, in New York. And one of our clients, Allstate Properties, uh, was a b home builder. And we had the idea of uh, presenting at the U.S. exhibition in Moscow uh, the typical American home, which was an $11,000 uh, house, similar to what you would find in, in Levittown in the very beginning. And, uh, and so we, we built the house, and by we, the builder built the house, and I was the press agent, went along. We went to uh, Moscow, and uh, Vice President Nixon opened the U.S. exhibit, and I was walking along with uh, Premier Khrushchev, and they went into the RCA exhibit and had a, a debate. And uh, Khrushchev w wiped up the floor with him. I mean, because Nixon was trying to be Mr. Nice Guy, and he was getting clobbered. And as he came out of that uh, session in the, in, the, in the television studio, he realized that uh, that's what's going to be shown back home, and showed him being pushed around trying to be Mr. Nice Guy. And so, I signaled to Major Don Hughes, who was uh, leading them through the U.S. exhibition, to come to the uh, American exhibit, uh, the housing exhibit. And there was a fence in between where he was walking and the, and the typical American house. And so I got a Jeep and we pulled up the fence and uh, Nixon was signaled, come on in here. He immediately saw the opportunity and uh, went into the kitchen with Khrushchev and engaged in the debate. That debate uh, in the kitchen, I was a press agent and I thought to myself, uh, here is Harrison Salisbury sitting outside and, uh, for the New York Times and who's going to believe me that what happened in that kitchen? But he was a great reporter, and so I said to the Russian guards, uh, uh, I want him in. And they said, uh, what is he? And I said, he's the refrigerator demonstrator. So we slipped him in. And, uh, and then the AP photographer wanted to come in, and I said, he's the uh, garbage disposal unit man. And there was no garbage disposal unit in the kitchen, and so they wouldn't let him in. Uh, so he lobbed the uh, expensive Lindhoff camera. He lobbed it into the kitchen. And uh, I got the picture of uh, Nixon uh, arguing with uh, Khrushchev. And there was a pushy uh, Russian trying to get into the middle of the picture. And I kept trying to uh, get him out, but I couldn't get him out. So he's in the picture. That was Brezhnev, uh, and he came by later. So at the end of the uh, session, uh, everybody pulled out, and uh, Nixon said to me, we really put the, your kitchen on the map, didn't we? Uh, showing a certain understanding of public relations. And I said, you bet. And uh, Harrison Salisbury said, we're going to call it the Sokolniki Summit. Sokolniki Park was the name of the place where, in Moscow, uh, the U.S. exhibition was being held. Well, nobody elected Sokolniki, so I said, you mean the Kitchen Conference, which had the benefit of alliteration. And uh, he paid me back for letting him in by calling it then the Kitchen Conference. And so our kitchen became famous. Uh, and on the way out, uh, Nixon said, come on over to Spazo House. Uh, now let's talk, because he figured I was a, uh, a good flack. And uh, so that night we talked, and uh, that next year, 1960, uh, I went to work for his campaign. <laughs>